One year ago, we came upon a washing machine in somebody's driveway they were giving away. Well, we took it home. Worked great. Until about a month ago. Started producing all that pretty magic smoke. So, we knew it was dead. We didn't want to go out and buy a new one. My wife wanted a non-electric washing machine. So, we decided we'd build one. We disassembled a exercise bike, and I started tearing apart the washing machine. First step is just start tearing it apart. Taking everything off, wires, the controls on the back, the uh, motors down in the bottom. Basically, all you have to keep are the drum assembly, the frame of it, if you want to keep it in a frame, you don't have to. It'll stand up, it'll stand up without it. The top, if you're going to keep the frame so it's covered. And you want to keep these three springs, or springs like them. They keep it from uh, going a wobbly when the load isn't uh, balanced. Now you have to decide how you want to power it. We wanted to do pedal power. Our first thought was ducks. But don't think they'd work quite well. So we decided pedal power would be the best way. We tore apart a exercise bike. It uh, was a reclining exercise bike. The chain on it is a little bit small, but it does work. I'm going to replace that with a bike sprocket setup. Since we're working on version 1.0 right now. Uh, whichever way you do it, basically all you need is something you're going to pedal that turns a wheel, and that will turn a belt. That will turn your drum assembly. Well, the part of this project that took the most brain power was figuring out how I was going to have the belt attached to the drum. Uh, the washing machine originally had a pulley right on the end, which came out the bottom of the frame. So, that would have been a pain to do because you would have had to have had it raised. So, I decided to go with that silver doohickey right there, which originally had a metal bar, a metal... Originally had that around it, which acted to stop the washing machine when you open the lid. If you have something like that on it, all you got to do is take that piece off and hit it for about a half an hour to get this piece to come off. Do not use a chicken to hit it with because that just will not work. And now that you've gotten that piece off, you haven't killed any chickens, and you haven't enslaved any ducks, you're ready to start putting it back together. Okay, now for assembling it back together again. When you've torn apart, you can take this unit off, which is these three legs, and this. That uh, little piece right there, the rod sticks through it. Um, I found it easier to reattach that, making sure you have these little... eye things right there attached to it still so that it's just one piece instead of having to put that down put the drum assembly on it and then reattach it while it's inside the frame now you're going to want to get another person to help you put that in it's possible to do it yourself but it's a pain whatever you do don't even attempt to try to talk your cat into helping you with this project it just won't work on this unit, it would go right into that hole, lay on top of that plastic ring. And hopefully you're not trying to follow this like a step-by-step -step guide, because I forgot to tell you before you put on the uh, part with the three legs on it, to make sure you have your belt on there. Once you put the part with the three legs on it, you cannot get the belt on. <laughs> okay. Now, uh putting on the springs they go one end goes right to that hook right there the other end goes to that right there it's best to have somebody help you with this to push the drum to each side uh, once again can't get the cat to help you with this and now with the three springs attached you can work on getting the uh, pedal power assembly onto it we decided to use the opening on the back since it's a little bit smaller and less obtrusive when it's sticking out. Oh, we attached the board and those two pieces. 
And that's how we set it on there. Now you just have to remove the big flywheel type part and put the belt onto it. I did take and scored the whole outside edge where the belt goes on with a Dremel to make it a little bit more uh, friction. So now to put the belt on. And this is the power unit attached to it. Belt just goes right down there. Okay. And putting the lid on, putting the back back on, and it's ready to do laundry. And we have attached a basic pump, sump pump hose to the drain pipe. There are two small outlets that come from it. Those are just sealed with a kitchen and bathroom caulk. There's also a hole up at the top that you can stick your garden hose into for filling it up. And you're ready for doing laundry. And about a little bit less than a full load. So otherwise, you know, you'd be working out. Now, if you're a real serious bodybuilder, go ahead and fill it up all the way. And after you filled it up with water, leave it in for probably 10 minute pre-soak. My lovely wife likes to listen to roll a D6 twice and then comes in with the new plunger. And you agitate it. Next unit, I will hopefully have it self-agitating with the exercise bike, but I haven't gotten that done yet. So you just do this for a while, and then you'll drain it and spin it and rinse it. And this is a washing machine draining. We'll have it in a barrel pretty quick, but we don't have one set up for this demonstration. Can't really see the washing machine through here, but pretty soon you'll see it spin. Well, there you have it, our pedal-powered washing machine. Next step is to get it set up to easily use rainwater gathered from the gutters. Lose 50 experience.